Hello guys and welcome. This is Harris and you guys are watching LiveWire Tech. So today we're going to be talking about the newly released um, Windows 10. And you know, I got a lot of things to say and lots of things that um that they added that I think was uh, fantastic. Although I'm not really a big fan of uh, how the UI look. How it kind of looks um you know, lackluster. That's what I would say, but nonetheless it's a it's a great it's a great OS I would use it so um, first off we're gonna start and talk about the whole new um, continuum UI so it's pretty much you know uh, there's no there's no more Metro UI which was used um, in uh, Windows 8 not a big fan of that you know it's, it was pretty lame um, then you know Next, we're going to be talking about what everybody's going to be happy about for sure. This is going to be um, the return of the start button. So now, in the start button, there's no more. We still didn't get the um, program and uh, you know all that stuff that we used to have back in Windows XP or um, you know Windows uh, Seven. I think had it. But um, in here now we have the Windows UI, which is you know it's right here this is your Windows UI um, or Metro UI they instead of having it as a as a whole screen now it's just a just a small part of the start button which is how I picture it and how I would want it um, you know how I want it to be you know integrated with the UI and um you know there's a lot of new additions and some of that like um you know um like the uh cortana of course we're going to be talking about that in a little bit and you know other things um but first off uh let's go here step by step when what's new and what i think um is newly improved next is going to be the what you call this the, the store now the store they finally fixed it up um Back then, um, when you buy um, an app, it's only you're only able to utilize that in one, only in PC, unfortunately. But this time, they actually, um, you know, streamlined it to all the um, the consoles, so it's universal. So everything that you buy in other apps, you can download it here. Anything that, um, well, not everything, I would say, not sure yet. But I would say the the games they will probably say it in you know the description of the item you're getting. Um, also, you know uh, like Netflix and stuff like that. Uh, you know everything that's um, app that's widely known and used by everybody. You'll be able to download it in either your mo um, Windows mobile devices, your Xbox One, your Xbox, and of course your Windows and Windows 8, Windows 10 and Windows 8. You know it's all in here you know this is just basic it's just um what it is is they added um you know um what you call this the universal settings for everyone that way you know we're, you're not wasting your money pretty much next we're gonna be talking about of course um it's gonna be our Cortana so let's go ahead and ask her a question so pretty much when you first boot it up you're gonna be able to you know set this up and that way you know if you have a microphone like right now I'm using the blue Yeti and that way um, you can talk to her just like the Xbox one see how it, it's gonna ask you for a nickname and what she can do for you and stuff like that so let's ask her are you better than Siri <laughs> I think we're both pretty clever are you sure sure <laughs> So. Is Windows better than Apple? And then she's gonna do a search for you. Open Facebook. Open Windows Media Player. Sure thing. Opening Windows Media Player. Let's see, it's awesome. It's a very responsive. It's not like um you know well Siri is kind of the same but I think the Cortana has a little bit of advantage when it comes to that 
um, it's more um, streamlined and you know she knows a lot more and I would say what's the weather tomorrow the forecast for tomorrow shows Sun with a high of 90 and a low of 76 how far is Philippines from Virginia <laughs> just gonna search a do a search thing for us <laughs> I'm not flying anytime soon all right so next is we're gonna we're gonna be talking about um, what I uh, you know what I my opinions are with the, the new Internet Explorer so let's open that up so uh, Windows uh, Internet Explorer uh, they call it the edge now not a big fan not it still looks exactly the same except they had this whole new whole new boxes type and stuff like that that really like uh, you know it's not really I don't know I would still use my Google Chrome or Safari first off it's uh, very susceptible to viruses at least not right now because it just came out but I don't I don't see this you know, being a good contender t to actually beat Safari or um, Chrome I mean I, I mainly use Chrome so yeah I'm not a big fan it looks the same no changes so next uh, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite additions so first things first we're gonna be opening up an image see here my logo you see how this is now see I think they got this from what you call this uh, MacBook they, they have this in Mac oh, but they they added a bunch of new tools here that you can actually use you know just your basic stuff all that stuff you know could actually add and crop I mean they had it before but uh, at least they brought back some of the old um, some, some of the old and necessary you know tools that you can actually use without buying anything else I, I think this was fantastic and next uh, next of my favorite stuff was um this is gonna surprise you guys I hope this works it didn't quite work on me earlier I tr this is my second filming so this is your uh, what you call this your taskbar so right now back in Windows 7 we had the arrow which is you're able to browse um, browse multiple windows this is pretty much the new arrow this is this is uh, which is the much improved version of that they call this the virtual desktops and task view now I'm not gonna click new desktop because I think that's what ruined my video but in the bottom right here, it's going to ask you a desktop, which is going to be a pretty much uh, pretty much your option of having another screen. So for example, this, this box right here is going to be all your streaming. And then if you click that, everything that for streaming can be on this side. And then on this side, you can have everything that you need to read your chat, all that stuff. And and any necessary any necessary tools that you can actually use will be on here now I love this addition I really do this is I think this is really brilliant you know brilliant engineering which is how it should have been in the first place all right so great now we're gonna talk about my Xbox so they they Change the whole UI for Xbox for for anyone that's that plays Xbox guys. I don't play as much anymore, so <laughs> don't add me. <laughs> All right, so at least we we saw this, and you know this is how it looks like now. So let's close this. Now we're gonna be talking about the Action Center. Now this is used to be the notification, which still is, but they changed it a little bit. So we ha now we have the tablet mode which pretty much uh, your metro ui just like in windows 8 how we you know you're greeted with the windows ui the, the the tablet things the square things not a big fan of that and i think it's ugly now this right here the screen that we have is amazing this this is how it should be 
Then ne next we have your connect. I, I believe this is like your um, your drop zone or something like that for Mac. Like if you have some um, if you have Bluetooth on your on your um, what you call this on your computer, you can actually connect or drop something off like really quick. So if you click that up, it's gonna start searching for local devices. Your note, of course, is your OneNote. So yeah, they integrated it all now. Um, it's part of the Windows. And next is your VPN and your Quiet Hours. Quiet Hours is pretty much your low down power, and you know, um, it's, it's gonna turn off all the noises and the sound. So, and the settings now it's it's different. So if you open up the settings, I'm not sure if you guys can see this. I have an issue earlier, so let me open this up just to make sure. I hope you guys can see this. This is this is the whole new settings. Uh, it's not it's not a uh, it's not the same anymore. This is really new for for all of us. So you know, they, it seems like they're able to figure it out to make it more streamlined and just um you know on point to where you're supposed to go, not you know, not all over the place. You know, that way you can fix everything up. Um, next we're gonna be talking about. You know the revamp core you know all the, the cores on in, in here so we have your mail which is now streamlined connected to it and then now we have your your photos which is a lot better so the the UI is totally different now uh, we have your Cortana of course your you, you, if you have this kind of phones you can always connect it yes you can so that's that's the that's the new stuff they added as well one note the office and the music and TV they're all the same well not the same but you know nothing I'm interested for about all that stuff so grow yeah, all that stuff so well um, the Xbox app, uh, you know, um, you can actually connect that alongside with the Xbox, like how it's always been. Uh, Continuum, this is the new, the new settings that they have ongoing here, and like I said, the settings is totally different. Now, to to tell you guys what I think about it, it it's amazing. Um, Windows 10 is great. Uh, it's what I've been waiting for and what I expect them to do. There's a lot of things that's uh, coming our way. Number one is going to be, of course, the hologram. Hopefully that that comes out soon. I'm excited. Next is going to be your DirectX 12. I know it should be running now, which I can show you guys um, if there's really any difference. I mean, I'm not. I don't play like hardcore games as I used to. So, you know, we're gonna try and open up. Don't starve. And see how if it actually hasn't have any changes. So nothing really. It's still the same. Uh, well, first off, uh, let me explain to you guys what Direct uh, X12 is. You need to have a um, game engine that's able to run it. That's why you're not gonna be able to see it. You know, maybe like uh, the new up and coming games, then you guys will be able to see the difference. You know, when it comes to to the visual aspect of the game but as far as what we have now um, you know there's not really you're not gonna be able to notice that soon so all the hype like I told you guys from the very beginning this is your answer uh, the game engine has to be able to make something or publish something that will run in direct X12 okay so none of the games right now um, maybe except except a few of them will be able to run it so no no hyper whatsoever okay and and my favorite and my favorite part of this which is probably gonna surprise you guys see I'm a big overclocker and and uh, what you call this I love booting up my computer fast and stuff like that but Windows 10 is the fastest boot I've ever had all right, I've had Windows 8, which was about five, or I would say I'll give it about a six, six seconds, six, seven seconds. This right here, as soon as I turn on my computer, 
it would boot up in about 3 or 4 seconds. That's how fast it is. It's very good. Now on to the things that I didn't like, you know, there's always some things, you know. UI, uh, I think it's pretty... I'm not a big fan of this little lines, stuff like that. You know, that's just me being nitpicky. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it. I'd rather have the regular old school um, logos and emblems, all the GIFs. <laughs> That's just me, guys. O also, um, another downside since it just came out. Um, remember, guys, this is, th this is only. There's a reason why they brought this up early. Okay, they want to be able to pinpoint w what what it's missing and what needs to be fixed. Okay. This is like the trial run. Now, when the the new things come, new thing come out, the the actual retail, then we'll probably be able to get some new updates and new you know, new contents for Windows, and uh, maybe more driver support. And that's one more thing that's um really, it's always going to be an issue when you guys install a new Windows. There's always going to be an issue about drivers, because none of the drivers are fast enough or able to work you know certain programming for them to be able to run certain drivers with the OS so you guys um, get just give him time uh, I, I love the Windows right now Windows 10 and it's exactly what I was waiting for you know I didn't expect anything else and it, it's great guys I would I would give it right now an 8 out of 10 okay an 8 out of 10 solid 8 out of 10 the only the only thing is is like I was telling you guys, the driver support, and I, at least you'll be able to change the, the themes. Maybe if I yeah, there's no no themes yet, uh, nothing yet. So maybe if I change this, well there it is. It's still the same thing. I mean, nothing really, you know, mind blowing and stuff like that. But we'll, we'll see how it's gonna turn out. But right now. It, my my final thoughts on this it's it's a great product now would buy the retail for the other computer all right guys thanks for watching and again if you guys like my video please please hit subscribe and like my video and also follow me on facebook um harris james hagan if you guys you know uh, you can guys also follow me on twitter twitter so just want to say you know good night guys and enjoy enjoy windows 10 it's what everybody deserved. Alright guys, good night.